mostly a lot of popping noise, picking up bodies, pop up up in the air. I didn't hear anybody that was scared. That's the way it was. I played with the string bass and the tuba, and, and then I became a conductor. They needed a bass player. So they called my ship, and if I could come over and play with them. And so they got permission, and I went over. And then the band master says, why don't you come to our ship, and stay overnight, and then come back on the boat the next morning. I says, a great idea. So I called the OD, officer of the deck, and he says, we have drills starting, oh, 0800, they're gonna need you. Permission denied. But we'll let you stay out until 1.30, or 1.30. I said, okay, so I told him, I can't, uh, I can't make it. And if I'd have gone there, I'd have been dead. Next day, they all got killed. I'd have been, I'd have been done. First hit, I thought somebody ran into us. It wasn't a collision hit. It was a sharp. And you turn your head, and in just about 30 seconds, the next one hit. Then I know. Well, then it started. We were holding hands, and, and we were jumping up and down. The water was up to here. And the water was coming through the, the hatch with speed. That means a lot of water up there. And somebody said, if we open up the door, there's an a, a exit where you can get out. If it's full of water, we die. That's simple. We said, go for it. All six. So we were held hands. You take three deep breaths, and then you take the third breath, so you expand your lungs. And then you fill up your lungs with air, you went down on the knees in the water, came back up and fight your way up. And then when that air goes, is done, you open your mouth, if it's water, you're dead. When I opened my mouth, there's air and water. Then somebody pulled me out, and I pulled all the guys out. Then uh, we looked at each other, didn't know too many of them. And one guy just patted my cheek, and I patted his cheek. I just looked at him, and I said, he's my brother. The only thing I, I think about is those young people who died for their country never got a chance to be a mother and a father, and why me?